Hi guys. Here's a horsey car can have a really hard life. And I think it's obvious why. So what are the reasons for cracking gears? Crazy drivers, overpowered brushless motors, flexing gearbox housing resulting in bad gear mesh, thinner pressed steel gears which are too hard and brittle. The result can be damages like this or this. What can we do to prevent the gears from cracking? Making the gears softer and less brittle and making the gearbox housing stiffer. I already tried to make the gear softer during an earlier video. The link is above. But it was a very uncontrolled way to do it and the gears were too soft afterwards as we will see later. So let's disassemble the JLB Racing Cheetah. Pinion and spur gear are still in good shape after about one year of use. But the differentials look horrible. Lots of shavings. No cracked gears anymore, but they are extremely worn down after the first attempt of heat treatment. The result was a grinding noise during hard acceleration because of slipping gears. But how can we do the heat treatment a bit more controllable? Well, we put them in the oven, which is preheated to 250 degrees Celsius. I left them in there for 30 minutes. And this is the result. The gears are now blue. Here you can see the difference in color before and after the heat treatment. Here you can see the difference in hardness. This original gear is very hard and can't be filed. And the second one was tempered with the burner. It is very soft and can be filed easily. Now it's time to reassemble the differentials. The original oil was too thin and I have replaced it with very thick silicon grease. The differential is now completely filled with thick silicon grease. The cocktail sticks help to hold the gasket in position. And this is the result, a very smooth differential. As I said, the second problem is the flexing gearbox housing. So the bearing journal of the differential input shaft is supported with two component glue. But this is not enough, because the entire differential housing is flexing on the heavy torque load. So I have designed this stiffener, which can be downloaded on my Thingiverse. The surface of the differential housing is roughened before the stiffener is glued in place. This is the 3D printed stiffener. It will also be mounted with two screws. So the differential housing needs to be drilled. The two component glue is now applied to the stiffener. Finally the screws are mounted. The stiffener is now in place and the differential housing looks much more rigid. Now it's time to reassemble the differential. Of course the small bevel gear is secured with Loctite. Here you can see how well the stiffener is supporting the bearing journal. Finally the bevel gears are lubricated with silicon grease. Time for the first test. Okay, time for an outdoor test.
you like this video hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications bye